Hey, this is BJ King, President and CEO of River Tree Insurance. And on today's episode of the River Tree Review, we're going to be talking about coinsurance on a commercial property insurance policy. And so when I'm talking to clients sometimes, we, we talk about the uh, how much we're insuring a building for. And, and they'll say, BJ, you've got this building insured for $100,000 and I only paid $40,000 for it. Well, we're not covering how much you paid for the building. What we're covering is how much it's going to cost to rebuild that building. And so even though you only paid 40,000, if you have to replace it when it burns down, it's going to, it's going to cost $100,000 to build it back. And so they'll say, well, I don't care if it burns to the ground, I'm not going to replace it. I'll just, I'll take my money and go. And that's fine and that's all well and good. But the problem is, is when you have a partial claim. And that's usually what our claims are. They're, they're usually not that the building burns to the ground or the building's completely blown away. It's usually that there's a small fire, that there is, um, there's hail damage to the roof or just part of the roof is laid back or something like that. And so that's when a customer can really get in trouble if they're not insured to the full co-insurance that the insurance policy is requiring. And so what you'll see on, on co-insurance, you'll usually see an 80% 90% or 100% coinsurance clause. And so for today's example, I just want to use the 80% coinsurance rule. And so let's say in the example that we use, we, we determined that the value or the cost to replace your building is going to be $100,000. But the coinsurance is 80%. And so what we're saying is that you have to have at least 80% of the replacement cost of that building. So in our example, you have to have $80,000 of coverage in order to not get hit with a coinsurance penalty. And what a coinsurance penalty does is determines how much you're insured for versus how much you should have been insured for. And if it's, if it's less than what you should have been insured for, they're only going to pay that certain percentage. And so that's a lot of crazy words and stuff like that. And so let's use an example. Let's say, hey, BJ, I really want to go for the $40,000. I know you said that it's worth the hundred and I got to have at least 80, but I only want to cover it for $40,000. Okay, we put it on the policy. So let's say you have hail damage to the roof and the adjuster comes in and they're saying, hey, you're way underinsured. Let's determine how much you're underinsured. You only have $40,000 in coverage, okay? The coinsurance clause said you should have had $80,000 in coverage okay so you do a, a simple rule of thumb is did over should you did have forty thousand dollars in coverage you should have had eighty thousand dollars in coverage so forty thousand over eighty thousand that's fifty percent so all we're going to pay is fifty percent of that claim less your deductible so let's say they the roofer comes out and he says hey this is going to cost ten thousand dollars to fix your roof well in the end you have a thousand dollar deductible 50% is 5,000, take out your $1,000 deductible, we're only gonna pay $4,000 for your $10,000 roof. And so that's where you really can get hurt if you don't abide by the coinsurance clauses of your insurance policy. So if you have any more questions on this or on any other questions or any other topics that we discuss within the River Tree Review, please give us a call, shoot us an email, uh, look us up on any of our social media platforms. And until then, we'll see you next time on the River Tree Review.